Right guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm just going to be showing you how to remove your bleed point cover on your Shimano road or gravel hydraulic shift levers. So if yours is rounded off and you want to know how to get it out to bleed your brakes or to top the fluid up, then I'll go ahead and I'll run through the steps. Right, so here we have the cover in question on top of the lever. Now it doesn't matter what lever you've got, if it's a 105 or GRX or this just happens to be a Dura Race lever, it'd be the same thing with the cover on the top for your bleed point there for your cup to go into. Now they can be rounded off easily, you could buy a new bike and then you could go and try and undo them and they could have been over tightened from brand new and then you could end up rounding it off or yours might be rounded off anyway even the first time you undo it or you bought a second hand bike and it's rounded off because you've got to make sure that you've got a really good fitting hex head in there when you try and undo it in the first place otherwise they round off easily if they've been over tightened now this one here is an example here's a hex head that should fit that as you can see I'm undoing it but it's rounded off that's just going around in the hole it's not undoing anything because it's been rounded off inside there so there's no way of undoing it with the right size hex head this just happens to be a 2mm, this is a Durace lever so that's a 2mm it should be but unfortunately it's rounded off so you can't undo it so one option you've got to try is say yours is a 2mm um, hex head not a two and a half, some of them are two and a half, so be careful of that. So this was a, a two millimeter, you could get a two and a half millimeter and just try it in there and see if it's rounded off enough to accept a two and a half instead of a two. So you might be able to get that in there. If you can, then if you, if that just goes in, then you can get on the other end of it with the hammer and just give it a tap and just lightly tap that like so and then if it went in there enough you might just be able to undo it so that's one option you can try just tapping in a half size extra into there and see if it works if it's rounded off enough right so another thing you can also try is if you've got a small torx bit instead of a hex head it's worth trying a torx in there because you might just be able to put that in there like that and again locate it on there and hit the other end with a hammer gently and see if it goes down inside enough so you can undo it so that's another way of doing it so another option you've got to remove the cover is you need to cut a slot in the top of it so as it accepts a flat blade screwdriver in there instead of the hex heads which tend to round off so to do that so you just need a rotary cutter and then we'll just cut the slot there in the thicker part in the center there to accept a screwdriver head Well, as you can see, I've cut a slot on the top of the cover there, so you get a bit of dust off it, it's not a problem. Then you need your flat screwdriver in the slot and pushing down on it hard. There you go, you can remove the cover. So easy as that. So I'll just wipe, just wipe this off before I remove that cover. It's just a case of unscrewing it. And there we have it there. 
So we can go ahead, get a new cover and put it in place. Right, so once you've got the old one removed, you can get yourself a new cover, making sure that the O-ring's on the bottom of it. So you just put that in place. Like so. You can try and start it by hand so you can feel that it's not cross threaded. And then with a appropriate size Allen key, hex head, making sure that it's a good fit. Just start it off, making sure again that it's going in really easily, that it's not cross threaded. Then to do it up, literally as soon as it stops moving, you can just feel it, it just stops moving, and that's all you've got to do. There's no, I'm not even tightening it up at all. The torque on it's like 0.5 newton meters, so it's absolutely nothing because the rubber is doing the sealing. Once that rubber's bites there, you can just feel it, it just stops and as soon as it stops you stop doing it up any more than that then you're likely to round it off that's all you do, if you've got any fluid come out anywhere just wipe it off and then that's it refitted so I hope you found the video helpful, if you did remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more cycle related content, till next one ride safe and I'll see you then